Hello and welcome to another Corec training video. I'm Fran Mullally and today I'm going to go through using the camera and making notes in Trimble Axis. Poss uh, very useful functions are possibly underutilized by some users. To do this I'm going to use my Trimble Axis emulator here on my laptop. So I've already created a project folder for Corec. I'm going to open that and within that I'm actually going to create a subfolder. Again maybe another underutilized function uh, the ability to create subfolders within the uh, main project folder. So I'm going to create a subfolder by user and create and now I've created my own subfolder I'm going to create my own my job within that. Okay so I'm happy with everything else my coordinate system my feature library are loading and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get my emulator going so I can replicate using a GNSS uh, with my emulator. So the idea here is that I'm going to measure something and then um, I'm going to take a photograph or a number of photographs and associate that photograph to the point and then also maybe I'm going to make a field note um, about the point as well. All of this I suppose is to save you having to take a camera or a phone and taking you know uh, using pen and paper or, or, or something else to make notes. By doing it this way everything is contained and stored within Trimble Access and everything, the photograph and the field notes, all have reference to the positional value of the point. Okay, so I'm just going to measure a point. And what I'll do for this example might be something that happens nearly every day to surveyors is that you come across something in the field that isn't in your feature library. So in this case, I've come across a tremble. And Again, because it's not in the feature library and person processing or yourself later on may not remember or uh, recall what a Trimble was, useful to take a photograph that you can use yourself or that you can share with someone who might be doing the processing or end user or whoever is using your data later on. So I'm going to store this point as a Trimble. I'm going to pin on my pole height, enter and measure. Okay. Observation so stored. stored. That point what I might want to do is take a photograph. Okay, so to do that, um, there is a formal way, but I just want to show you as well what can be useful. Um, if you like, getting the camera um, as one of your function keys, a quick key, is very useful. Now, I can't actually show you that on my emulator, but I can show you how it's done with any other function, and then you'll be able to do it yourself with your camera. Okay, so if I, for example, wanted to use one of my function keys on my controller, um, for a function, the way to do it is to actually go into the function. So if I go in, say for example, continuous topo, and I'm kind of, I'm using that a lot, so I can go into continuous topo. And when you go into a function, you'll see there's this star up the top right. If you press the star, it gives you a couple of options. If I hit favorite, it adds it to my favorite menu, which I'll show you in a minute. If I hit function. Now I can pick which function key I want to add that function to and this makes really useful on the controller speed up time in this case for example that you could access your camera really really quickly. Um, if you hit this it actually adds it to both or none. So in my case let's say I want to add as a function but if you did want to add as favorite where it would go is if I hit the menu button here you see it brings you automatically into your favorites and you'd find camera then would be in here. Okay, so the more formal way we'll say of activating your camera is if you go to your menu button, go into instrument and hit camera. So in my case, um, I'm using my laptop, so it's only a, uh, a user facing camera. So we're going to go in and we're going to take a photograph of my object and then close down. And this is something I really, really like about Tremble Access, okay, is that. Um, one obviously it, it automatically does this that it, it brings up uh, you know you can change the image name if you wish so we'll say that's tremble or you could have just left it as img the next photograph will be img1 img2 and and so on so what it does is um, it says here usually it's set to previous point so what it's assuming is that the photograph you just taken you want to link to the point you just surveyed which is most likely the case in the field so I believe that at previous point it's going to link that point to point one however it could be the case that I want to link this photo to the next point I'm about to survey it could be that I just want to link that point to the job maybe it's an overview photograph of the site or something like that 
or what can happen to us all is if you forgot to take a photograph at the time of the object what you can do is you can go to point name and you can hit this side arrow here and list and this basically brings you into all your points and you could pick whatever point it is from the list and associate that photograph if you forgot to do it at the time. So I'm going to hit escape here. In my case it was actually the previous point that I want to link the photo to. I'd also recommend that you hit geotag image the first time you're in this function. It will remain ticked after that. If you hit geotag image what it does is it writes the positional value of the uh, GNSS point um, to the photograph. Okay, again, very useful. Um, so I'm going to accept that. In this case, I'm going to say I'm happy with just one photograph of my object, um, but I could take multiple, there's no problem there, and they will all um, associate to that point. Okay, the next thing I might want to do is make a field note. Okay, so to do that, there's a couple of ways to do it. The quickest way is just, again, hit your menu button into your favorites and click on key and note. So in here, we have a notes field and I can say um, whatever field note I want to add Trimble. okay and um, again very like the photograph I think very very useful down the bottom I have previous and next so if I hit previous it's going to link that field note to the point I just surveyed which again is what I want to do in this case so I'm going to hit previous here and that's stored um, if I want to see that that has done what I think it has done, what you can do is you can go into your menu button, go into review job, and in review job you can see, yeah, here's point one, the Trimble, and there's the media file that's associated with it, and if I go in here, here's my field note. Okay, very good, I can also edit my field note in here if I wish. Um, okay, another thing in the field note is, again, like with the photograph, say you forgot to take the photograph at the time of survey, and you want to add the field note afterwards. Well, what you can do again is you can hit on your menu button, go into Point Manager, and in Point Manager, if you scroll across, you'll see there's a note column. If you scroll across your point and click under the note column, then you can get back into your field note and you can add more field notes there or edit them as you wish. So that's another way of also adding a field note to a point. So um, if I accept that and escape out, okay, so what about exporting these? Okay. So to export um, a list of uh, all the photographs that go with your survey points, you go to menu button, click on your job as you normally would to export, hit export, and you pick media file report. I'm going to save as PDF and save you created file so you can see it. As soon as I hit accept and accept again, what it does is it opens a PDF and it tells you, okay, this point here is associated with this image here. Um, and again, if I took multiple photos, it would it would have a list of all the multiple photos per point. And obviously, if I had more points or more photos, that would be a comprehensive list. Okay, and if I want to export my um, field notes that I made, okay, again, same place, export. This time, pick CSV with notes, sorry, comma delimited with notes, accept, accept again. And you can see here in Excel, I get my usual standard Excel point name, Easting, Nording, Elevation and Code. But also, of course, over here now, I get my field note as well in column F, an extra column. Okay, so thank you uh, for joining me for another Trimble or uh, Corec video. And if you require any other information, please get in contact with Corec support.